also you might be able to see I am in a slightly different setting today. I have moved bedrooms literally from across the hall. Um, this bedroom is just slightly bigger and my brother's moved out so I've moved into it. So over the next few weeks I'm probably going to be moving around a bit. There'll probably be quite a lot of different settings where I just try to figure out my setup. I thought I'd approach myself in front of my bookshelf today. So it is the end of May so that means it is May favourites time. I had so much this month that I've actually split it into two videos so there'll be one this week, one next week. And the, this week I'm going to do my beauty and fashion favourites for May and next week it will be home and random favourites. So yeah, let's get into it. Firstly I have this box. It is actually filled with makeup palettes at the moment and not what I came with. Um, but this is the Cult Beauty box by Anna and Lily. If you watched my favourites last month you will see I spoke about how much I love Lily and Anna. That is Lily Pebbles and Viviana does makeup. Um, I think they're amazing and all well, their recommendations are really good. When they created their own box with Cult Beauty of course I had to get it. I really loved everything in the box. There was nothing I actually disliked. I'm really really pleased with it overall. But I'm just going to show you a few of the bits I liked in case you want to buy them individually and I thought it would take forever for me to go through everything so I thought I'll just show you one or two bits. One thing from Anna's and Lily's box which I wasn't expecting to love was this. This, sorry it's got my hair in a bit gross but this is the wet hairbrush. Um, I'm not never really fussy with my hairbrushes. I brought a Tangle Teaser before and I was so disappointed literally it just hurts my head and doesn't do anything so I thought this would kind of be the same thing but it's not it's amazing the bristles are so soft they just glide through your hair so easily and yeah I'm really really pleased with that so if you need a new hairbrush get this it doesn't hurt and it feels nice and it gets out your tangles so quick and easy another thing I've been enjoying from the Anna and Lily Court Beauty box is this this is Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel um, this is a gel formula cleanser. What does it smell like? It smells quite fruity. It smells really nice. It's like pink um, and it just kind of is like a gel and it just breaks down all your makeup. I find this really takes off my makeup properly. I use my laser or cleanse and polish as well. But when I use that I do have to take off my makeup separately with this. Um, it gets off the majority of makeup and it's like so gentle on your face yeah. you literally just put it on wash it off and the majority of your makeup is gone so that is really great so I've really enjoyed using that another thing from the boxes which I wasn't expecting to love is this this is a little face roller you literally do this with it it's marble and it's just really cool and so it's lovely on your face, it's really cool, it's quite pretty and I don't know what it is about it but it's really relaxing to just use it as well. I don't know, it seems like such a stupid thing to recommend but this is actually great and I wish I got one sooner. The last thing from Lily's and Anna's box I'm going to mention is this and this is the Luna Sleeping Oil by Sunday Riley. I have wanted this for the longest time but it's quite a pricey product, I think it's about £80 for twice the size um, and Liliane Anna's box came with this I think it was around £80 again and you've got half size plus loads of other things I haven't showed you everything I've just shown you a few things so there was a massive saving on it which meant I actually had the opportunity to try it and it is amazing it kind of gives a blue tinge on the skin the next day you literally feel like you've got brand new skin like I can't even describe it. I didn't use it last night I think I'm touching my face now but yeah, literally, it, your skin just feels amazing the next day. It is worth the money. I will probably repurchase it, even though it's so pricey, because it makes such a difference even after one use. And I've not been using it every night because it is expensive and I don't want to kind of run out of it quick. I've just been using it around once a week. It makes such a difference to your skin. It is literally, I don't know, it's, I can't even describe it, but your skin just feels great the next day. So that is amazing. And also, I love the bottle. 
That's all I'm going to mention from that box, but like I said, there is more stuff. I'm not sure if it's still been sold or not, maybe look it up, but there was loads of other good stuff in that, but that's just a few of the bits I wanted to mention. So now I'm going to move on to lip products. I have a matte lipstick and I'm wearing this today, but with a bit of velvet teddy over the top because I didn't want it quite so dark. And this is Max Royal, and it's a brown, brownie nude lipstick. I literally say it's the same as Velvet Teddy, but a shade darker, and I love Velvet Teddy. Sometimes you want a bit more of a statement lip. And that, that this is it. I think it's really on trend at the moment. It's nice and matte, it's long lasting. Other lip favourites I've got are these two. This is more for the formula, not for the colours. These are the NYX or NYX or whatever you call it. Soft matte lip creams. And I have the shade Sydney and the shade Copenhagen. And these don't feel like you've got anything on your lip. They're not that long lasting, but they're so nice on your lips for a matte product like that kind of worth it and they are long lasting overall but just not as long lasting as some you know but I just really like them I, I like these two shades at the moment I'm really into either dark lipsticks or pink lipsticks so they're great and they're so cheap as well um they recently brought NYX to UK to Boots in the UK which is great they don't have it in my local Boots which is really annoying but as soon as I realised I ordered loads of stuff online these were two of the things and I love them while we are talking about next products, I've got this. This is the NYX Proof It. What's it called? Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. It's literally a white thing. Um, white eyeshadow primer. Literally stick it over your eyelids before you put your eyeshadow on, and it just keeps your eyeshadow on all day. And that's all I can really say about it. My makeup has been lasting so much longer recently and I think it's partly down to this with the eye makeup and then there's something else with the face makeup and also this is really cheap again. So my face makeup has been lasting a lot longer and I have been using this as a primer. It is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Yep, it's a shave balm. I'm sure a lot of you would have heard about this by now but I didn't really think it would work. I decided to try it when I saw in a video that it was good and oh my god my makeup stays on so much longer. When you first put it on it does smell a bit a bit manly but the smell kind of fades and your make my makeup's just been lasting. That's all I can say my makeup lasts all day and I think this was like four pounds or something. Um and even when I use makeup primer normally my makeup doesn't last so I think something's good about it so that, that works wonders, that's the only thing I've ever found to keep my makeup on. Um, and also the manly smile does fade as soon as it's on your face, so don't panic about that. Next up is this, this is a brush I've been enjoying, this is the Real Techniques 103 brush. I got this in a set with three brushes, it's from their Board Metals collection, I'm not sure if you can buy it individually, if you can, I'll link it down below. Um, I had this brush for a while and I didn't really use it because it's really really big. Um, so yeah, I didn't really use it much. And then I watched um, a video, I think it was Tanya Bear, and she used this for her foundation. So I decided to try it. I've actually been loving it. You do it so quick because the brush is so big. You could just buff it all in nicely. I always think, like, I didn't use it for oh, it was for a powder. I don't want a powder brush that big. But it actually works really nice for foundation. So I've really been enjoying that. It kind of quickens up doing my makeup and it blends everything really nicely. And a palette I've been enjoying is this one. This is the Carly Babe. I'm not sure how you say her name. I didn't watch her videos or anything. Um, I just heard this palette was really good if you like gold toned eyeshadows and things. Um, this is B BH Cosmetics palette. It looks like this inside. It has one, two, three, four, five. So, 10 eyeshadows and 1, 2, 3, 4 highlight shades. Um, and I really, really like all the colours in this. And they're really pigmented and they blend really well and it's really cheap. The packaging's a bit crappy, but 
pretty good. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Um, yeah, really, I didn't like the packaging, but all the colours are really nice. You pigmented it all inserts some swatch swatches. I actually really love um, the bottom two highlights as well. I use my Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop mostly, but then I found um, the highlights down here. I'll insert a little clip of them now. They're um, a bit more yellow tone rather than pinky tone, and sometimes I don't want the champagne-iness of Champagne Pop. Um, and they're really nice, they're really pigmented. In fact, everything in this palette is really pigmented. I love all of the colours. Um, they're mainly shimmery colours. There are a few kind of matte-ish colours. Um, and they're perfect for if you kind of love gold toned eyeshadows like I do. But warm shades. And I really love them. And the nice, like, the sparkle is a good sparkle. They haven't gone half-hearted on the sparkle. I, I think that was really good value for money. I've been using it loads. Um, I might actually check out Kylie Babe out, whatever her name is. Um, and see if I like her videos too because I love her eyeshadows. The last beauty thing I've got is for you now and it is this by Essie. It is their apricot cuticle gel, not gel, cuticle oil. I have been putting this on my nails before bed and in the morning my nails have just been a lot stronger and in a better condition so I thought I'd give that a little, little shout out. Fashion wise I have a few things. Firstly I've got this choker which I'm wearing. I think everybody's loving chokers at the moment. But yeah, I really like this choker. I got it from ASOS, it was really cheap. I just think it looks nice, nice finish done up. The only thing is, I do find sometimes it, actually, if I don't have it on tight enough, it will spin and it will be like that and look in the mirror, that not the look I was going for. But other than that, I like it. I think it looks really cool. Sometimes it is actually a bit annoying wearing a choker. Um, that's why sometimes it spins, because I don't do it up tight enough. I don't want it that, to actually show it to me, but. Still there. I think it looks nice, it's just black velvet. And um, yeah, and then I've got a denim jacket which I am also wearing. I'll insert a little clip of it. I got this in HM. I've been had my eye out for a denim jacket for ages. I've been looking everywhere thinking um thinking I'd probably have to spend quite a bit on one. I bought this for 25 quid and I really like it. And it kind of finishes a lot of my outfits. I had a lot of outfits, I didn't really have jackets to go with, and this kind of does the job. So that's great. The next two things are things which really aren't me. I've kind of been trying to change up my style a bit recently because I've been a bit bored of it. But I have some jeans and they are from Topshop. They're the Hayden jeans. They're kind of boyfriend fit. They've got rips in the knees and I've just been rolling them up a bit. Um, I think I've actually got, they are a little big on my waist. I struggle with jeans. I'd never ever wear jeans. I don't ever know what size I need in jeans because I don't wear, buy them or wear them much. So this is actually the only pair of jeans I own at the moment and I love wearing them. It's probably cool when I wear them to be honest. And uh, yeah, so that's nice. Because uh, yeah, I do want to change up my style a bit. I'm kind of a bit bored. Um, so I bought these and I feel like they're kind of getting me out of my rut. And yeah, I'm enjoying wearing those. The only thing is I find it hard to know what to buy them with. If you have any um, tips on like how to style friend jeans or what you kind of wear with them, let me know. Lastly, I have some shoes. The sorry, they are a little bit dirty. These are the Adidas, I think they're Adi yeah, Adidas Superstars. They've got the black Adidas stripes, they're just white, and then they've got some bit like gold for the logo. I've been wearing these loads. I wear them to work quite a lot. Wow. I have a job where you wear trainers. Um a lot of people wear trainers, I've been wearing them to work quite a lot. Just really comfy. These are the first like actual proper sturdy pair of trainers other than my running ones I've owned in a long long time. I've had like bands and things but nothing like this and they're just so comfy. I think they look really cool. They're kind of they're black and white so they go with any outfit. They need a wash right now but I love them and I've been getting a lot more wear out of them than I expected them. So that is everything from my um fashion and beauty favourites for the month. I am going to film a home, home and random favourites in a moment so that will be going up next week so make sure to check that out. I hope you enjoyed this and I'd love to hear what you have been enjoying through May. So leave me a comment below and if you enjoyed it please subscribe and give it a thumbs up that would be absolutely amazing. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next week.